this video, I will explain you the key to make a good laydown jibe. And the trick that I will be explaining you is actually very, very simple. So you don't need years and years of practice on the water. Just one movement that you do. And for me, at least, it was like this five years ago when I learned about this trick that it magically allowed me to make laydown jibes. So stay tuned to find out how that works. And by the way, guys, I'm uploading new windsurf content almost every single week. So subscribe to this YouTube channel to not miss any of the future videos, tutorials, video blogs, and so on. And of course, leave me a thumbs up if you enjoy what you're seeing. I'm just coming off the water and it's extremely gusty today. So the conditions are very difficult to do some proper laydown jibes. But I think I managed to do a few and now I want to explain you what for me was the magic trick. But first of all, guys, some very, very basics. Of course, you need to know how to do a power jibe. I will link you a small tutorial for that also in the video description. It's about very basic, simple things um, that you can do when you want to learn the power jibe. But you don't need to know how to plane through a power jibe. You just need to, you know, understand the basics of the movement. And when you know how to do that, then you can at least try to do a laydown jibe. And the laydown jibe, this is important to know, is not a very functional movement. It's like a, you know, a stylish jibe, you could call it, because you depower your sail in the jibe, which means that you lose all the, the pressure in your sail. And so uh, you don't gain any control in the laydown jibe. If you're speed sailing, for example, then the laydown jibe actually has a function because this depowering allows you to, to step on the brakes, basically. Now, what do you do? You sail downwind, basically as deep as you can. Um, this is also what I did today. And this makes it a lot easier to depower the sail in the laydown jibe and to lay the sail down. Because when you're going upwind, it's almost impossible to do a laydown jibe. And when you're going crosswind, it's uh, still very, very, very hard because you will have to twist your body a lot. Um, second thing is um, about your hands, uh, what you do with them on your boom. Your front hand uh, is positioned a little bit closer to your harness lines than you would normally do in a, in a normal uh, race jibe or power jibe. And your back hand, it goes a little bit further to the back. But these are just minor things and you actually can do a laydown jibe also when your hand is a little bit further to the front. But what you should definitely not do is have your hand somewhere here, which is something that a lot of people are doing when they're starting out with their jibes because it gives you more control. Because you closer you grip your boom to the mast, the more control you basically keep when you let go of your backhand in the jibe, for example. Now, guys, about the magic key trick, whatever you want to call it, that I was talking about in the intro of the video. The thing is, a lot of you guys probably have tried to do a laydown jibe when you know how to jibe, just for the sake of making a photo or anything like that. And you probably realized that it's actually not that easy to lay down your sail. And the reason for that is that your body posture in a normal jibe is very different to how it is in a laydown jibe. You can also do a laydown jibe with a classic race jibe posture, but for that you need to be extremely, extremely experienced. So when I'm talking about posture and stuff like this, of course it sounds very complicated, but the trick, and I will now simply tell it to you, is very, very simple. What you do is you enter the jibe um, on the steep downwind course and you look to the top of your sail. And you may, may think, oh, this sounds a little bit too simple, but guys, this is actually the trick. This is how I learned the laydown jibe at Lake Garda a few years ago. To me, it was a moment of revelation because I was trying for days to make a laydown jibe where the boom touches the water and I simply didn't manage to do it. And then Dennis Boysen, the CEO of Avanti Sales, came around and he said, Mario, just try and look to the top of your sail and boom, I did the laydown jibe. It works as the following. When you're doing a normal jibe, the rule is basically that you want to look forward because you want to keep your body open and you have the pressure on your sail and you want to keep, keep as much speed as you can throughout the jibe. Now, when you look ahead of you, like when you're sailing like this and you're looking in that direction, you can't do a laydown jibe like this because you're stuck here because you're looking forward. Now, what happens when you look to the top of your sail is your whole body follows basically your eyes and your head movement and your upper body positions itself in the direction of your sail. So you're sailing like this. Now you're looking to the top of your sail 
and boom, all of a sudden you have the ability to put your sail down, to lay it down. And it is actually crazy because it gets so easy when you do this. It's like you're sailing basically like this. This is basically the posture that I'm having in the laydown jibe. And as you can see, I could even put the sail lower. I could put the boom below the water surface. Of course, if you're super experienced, you may also be able to do a laydown jibe without that. But also when you look at, for example, wave sailors that are in huge waves and they're doing these uh, bottom turns where they're laying down their sail, you, you can also see that they're looking up the face of the, the swell, the wave. This simply enables you to lay down your sail. And it's crazy. If I look like this and I want to do a lay down jibe, it's, it's not possible. If I look here, boom, I can go all the way down. If you tried a lay down jibe before and you didn't manage to do it, you will be extremely surprised of how easy things get once you try this. I'm back at the car. Uh, we had a super nice session today. Of course, there is much more to learn regarding the laydown jibe, but in this tutorial, I really wanted to focus on the, yeah, basically on the clicking thing from there on. I think, uh, yeah, you will have to see a little bit for yourself and maybe in the future, I will do a full on laydown jibe tutorial where I explain every single movement. So if you enjoyed the video, you can leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to this YouTube channel to not miss any of the future videos. And of course, write me your feedback in the comments. And if you have some additional tips, uh, you can of course also write them in the comments. I'm always happy if I can learn something new. And I think the other viewers are also happy about that. And guys, one last thing, if you need anything windsurf related, of course, feel free to check out our windsurf shop, The Wind Lounge. We are shipping worldwide and we are very happy to help you. So see you guys the next time. Bye-bye.